It's a completely different time for us now. We find people actively searching us out here at the OTC. They want to see what, what we're doing. They want to come and talk to us. And uh, Versabar's presence has certainly grown in the 10 years since I've been coming here. We've gone over the course of the last 10 years from a small little uh, 10 by 10 booth to now a 20 by 40 with a uh, larger presence, uh, which really amplifies and, and underlines the technology that we now bring to, to the oil field. If you look at everything we do, it follows the same DNA, and rigging, testing, and weighing are the fundamental DNA building blocks of VersaBar. And winch pull-in projects, VersaTrust, bottom feeder, VB10,000, they're all just offshoots of that DNA. It's a concept of customization, good engineering, testing, operating, making it work, reusing it, giving clients what they want. We first started with the VB4000, or as we affectionately referred to it as the bottom feeder, a nickname that really stuck with the industry. As we came out with that technology and began working in the Gulf of Mexico, immediately the operators began to ask for a larger, more robust system that would complete larger projects, make heavier lifts, go over larger standing platforms because of the decommissioning marketplace that is rapidly emerging. There's far more platforms coming out of the Gulf of Mexico than going in. The innovation over the course of the last 30 years has really been the growth of Versabar to go from one full-time employee and one part-time employee to now over 650 employees in two locations. Just a creative group. We always look at the solution for the problem rather than what kind of assets do we currently have. Let's develop something that gives and delivers the best value to the client.